So I just got kicked out of one of my favorite fishing spots. Let's go people, let's make anglers great again. If you wanna show your support, head over to ceofishing.com and buy a shirt today. But I just finished up with a doctor's appointment with my wife, we did the ultrasound. She is just over eight months pregnant, or between eight and nine, we don't know the exact time. Um, I just know what I did to get her pregnant. <laughs> You did this to me. <laughs> but the doctor's saying we gotta go see him again in three days uh, because we may have to induce her earlier than we thought. So who knows, my son might be born in a week or my son might be born in three weeks. Still waiting to find out, but uh, I'm on my way home and I decided, you know what? Let me wet some lines to uh, see if I can catch a fish. Make the day great, you know what I'm saying? But that's it, you know, I just pulled over. I'm going to put on my chest mount and grab my rod and see if I can catch a fish, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe and turn the notification bell on right now. And always support my sponsors. I got Nines Optics, Livingston Lures, and the Real Hooker Bait and Tackle. Just give me a moment, let me switch around the camera, and let's get started. Let's see, I'll try not to show you my crotch, but let's see, oh, it's windy. Uh, see what I got, I don't even know what's rigged up. So. There you go, little guy. All right, so yesterday I was able to get out, catch a peacock bass, but you know, Figured I want to do a little bit more fishing, so. That is an iguana, that splash. I don't know if you guys heard it on camera. But yeah, figured I got a Blink-182 concert tonight. Fun fact, I actually met my wife at a rock show. I was filming videos for a band called Salamara and they were doing a show with Gemini Syndrome and I decided to photobomb the band taking a picture and my wife was actually the one taking the picture with the band. I got tagged in the photo and then she started stalking me online, you know what I'm saying? Um, but that's how we met. We started talking on Instagram because she saw me working with the band and obviously she thought I was pretty damn good looking. Yeah, that's how it started, and almost 10 years later, we're about to have a baby. But let's get back to the fishing, guys. I know you don't wanna hear my whole life story. If you do like fishing and the outdoors, make sure you hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on right now. Back to the show. I see a fish right there. Ah, oh, too much vegetation. I knew that was gonna happen. Still tried it. Still tried it. Not the ideal lure for these conditions, but these are the only two lures I brought. So figured I'd give it a little toss. Definitely would have been better off with something weedless. There's an alligator right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Same in the water right there? Right there. Little alligator, maybe four feet. Better view of them. Guys, I found a peacock. There's a peacock right here. These things are everywhere down here in South Florida. To the point where they've become actually a nuisance. Well, yeah, they might be kind of pretty. They destroy your cars and your property. They attack their reflections on your car. So a lot of people don't like them down here. Should we open a hunting season on them? All right, look at this. Construction on the other side. They're actually gonna build a bridge right here. So this 
somewhat famous location for fishing for peacock bass is going to be dead for a little while. But before they really mess it up, I'm gonna try and catch some fish. If I can unhook my lures here. See me. Yeah. Sorry, you, you can't be here right now, man. Uh, this is a, a construction site now. Even though no one's working? Even though nobody's working. That's some bull Sorry about that, man. All right. Well, at least I got it on camera. <laughs> Thank you. Nah, I know. You too, man. Well, like I just mentioned, they're building a bridge here. And uh, apparently you're not even allowed to park here anymore because it's dubbed a construction site, even though there's no construction going on on this side. It's all on the other side right now. But uh, hey, it is what it is. I'm not gonna argue with the man. Let's go find another spot to fish. So I just got kicked out of one of my favorite fishing spots. Apparently, we're not allowed to be there anymore. Right now, I'm just bouncing around from spot to spot. Let's see if we can get something. Start right there. One. If you're using these lipless crankbaits in Miami, make sure you run them so that they're parallel to the shoreline, but below the rock ledge. That's where the peacock bass are sitting and they'll shoot out and ambush them as they pass by. For those of you who actually watch my channel and are subscribed to the channel, you know that it's not just about fishing in the outdoors. It's also about my personal family life and the things that I do on the day-to-day -day basis as well. And uh, you know, this is no different. You know, you saw me go to the doctor for my wife, but to cap everything off, to make everything in the last few days perfect, I got to go to an Inter Miami game and watch some MLS soccer with my daughter. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And that's it, guys. Until next time, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.